Ear fifth finally revealed. Let's get it started, gang, gang. Now, if you're new to the channel and you like One Piece content and you like hearing discussions like this, you subscribe to the channel, of course, if you're new, and leave a like on the video if you do like it. Also, hit that post notification, you know, so you know when you get notified when I upload, because sometimes, you know, YouTube be chipping about that. But that being said, let's get it started to the video. So Gear 5th has finally been revealed. I feel like I really hit the nut. I have, I really hit the crack of it all. I feel like I finally revealed what Gear 5th will be. But first, let's talk about why Gear 5th is able to happen and what is the gears. So we go into the gears and we start off with Gear 2nd. We saw the Gear 2nd ability. Luffy is able to pump his blood and we saw him do these faster gadlings. Everything was faster with his speed. Everything was going faster, you know. It, it was kind of more of a speed a power up at the same time. We got to see him like shoot these little fast little uh, pumps of air out of his hand. I don't know what you really want to call it, but we saw that from Gear 2nd. But then we go to gear third. Gear third was an interesting gear to me because it's not really used like that anymore. I still count gear third when like, when Luffy used like Grizzly Magnum and stuff like that. That's gear third. Yeah, that's still gear third to me. But gear third was an ability where Luffy would use it and his body would automatically shrink. We saw that when he was fighting Rob Luchi. Luffy was going gear third and his body shrunk so he basically tried to hide from our luchi during the time so we saw that from gear third and we really didn't didn't really get to see it anymore again and let's go on to gear fourth real quick before we get to gear fifth gear fourth the ability we saw at just rosa and after we saw the ability of gear fourth we automatically started wondering what is the next power up for luffy what is the next stage is it is it going to be gear fifth is it going to be something else we were wondering what was going to happen with luffy's power up because we know Luffy still needs to get stronger. We saw that he was struggling with Doflamingo. He, you know, he wants to become the king of the pirates. You can't be struggling with warlords if you're going to be king of the pirates. You know, we wanted Luffy to be stronger, so we we're wondering what was the next ability for Luffy. Now, I want to highlight a moment in Dress Rosa where you hear Doflamingo talking about the Devil Food Awakenings. Now, I know a lot of people have heard about this, you know, Doflamingo the Devil talking about Devil Food Awakenings to Luffy, about him taking the world around him to strings and Doflamingo's ability when he dealt for the uh when he awakened his devil fruit was basically he would turn the world around him to strings and his strings would become stronger and he would also be able to manipulate these strings so basically he can manipulate these strings from a far distance and try to attack you with them and they're way stronger than what they were originally so that's why we saw luffy running at the time when doflamingo was basically awakening his fruit ability and luffy would have to dodge instead of just blocking it or making it bounce off so what does this mean for gear fifth what did what did i why did i even bring up all the other gears to address gear fifth now i want you guys to remember this all of luffy's gear abilities deal with his devil fruit ability just keep that in mind. Every gear ability deals with his devil fruit ability. Gear second deals with his devil fruit ability. Gear third deals with the devil fruit ability. Gear fourth deals with the devil fruit ability. And we're basically seeing Luffy almost being done maxing out gear fourth. You know, he has a speed mode. He has a tank mode for defense. We have bound man with kind of... Uh, you know, it's just a regular mode for Luffy. He called it the attacking mode, but I can call Snake Man the attacking mode also. So it's basically a, a mix of defense and attack of the same thing. A Snake Man is basically all out attack. You know, there's really no defense with Snake Man. So he Luffy has these modes with Gear Four, and I feel like he's really running out and he's maxing out his Gear Four ability. You can probably say he can probably use it a little bit longer, but I can make a whole other video about Gear Four. So one more thing I want to be bring up from Gear 4 is that I feel like the last thing Luffy is going to be able to do with Gear 4 is he's not going to be, he's, he's going to be done with like, you know, he you know he has a kind of long wait time when, when he uses Gear 4. We saw with Katakuri when Luffy tried to go to Gear 4, Katakuri saw into the future and he was not allowing Luffy to go to Gear 4. He wasn't allowing Luffy to go to Gear 4. He basically stopped Luffy from going to it and he wouldn't allow him to go to it. Now, I feel like when Luffy finally maxes, once Luffy gets to gear 5th, 
he's going to be able to turn to gear four instantly we saw in the opening of one piece um i don't remember it was one of the newest ones it was before hope it was it was the opening 19 we saw luffy versus kaido we saw him go to gear four at basically at the snap of the fingers we saw it really quick and a lot of people do not realize that you could probably say it's just anime it's an anime opening you know but i feel like that's gonna eventually be what luffy's gonna be able to do he's gonna be able to snap of the fingers gear forth is gonna be able to turn into that that's gonna be luffy's so you know he's gonna be his base luffy form is that snap of the fingers gear forth like he does with gear second now he doesn't have to like load it up and go gear second he can just you know his arm stretches out and you know the blood starts going yes it's easy for luffy now so finally let's talk about gear fifth what is gear fifth and how is it revealed i feel like this is 100 percent factual evidence gear fifth will be luffy's devil fruit awakening and let me tell you why like i said earlier in the video all his devil fruit all his gears deal with his devil fruit ability and we're basically getting to the end of Luffy's gear. Just basically, I mean, you could probably say, you know, Luffy is dealt with the blood of his body. He's dealt with the muscles. He dealt with the bones. He's dealt with almost everything inside of his body. Everything with his body has been dealt with his devil foot ability. There's nothing else he can really do with it. And the next thing he can do is his awakening. That's been foreshadowed at Dress Rosa. And Dress Rosa has been years ago. So we're going into Wano. We know Luffy is going to need a power up because he is facing a Yonko. He his his next next power up is going to have to be Gear Fifth Devil Fruit Awakening. Can't you guys just picture that now? We see Luffy versus Kaido. We see Luffy, you know, going at it, and we notice that Luffy's not strong enough. You know, we, we know he's not strong enough to beat Kaido. Not even, you know, it's kind of says Big Mom might be not strong enough to beat Kaido. But look, we see Luffy, you know, struggling a bit. We're and we're getting at the end of the chapter, right? And then we see out of nowhere at the last panel, we see Gear Fifth. We see Gear Fifth. We see Luffy say Gear Fifth. We go on the two week break, you know, you know how Oda loves to do these two week breaks, you know, let like, you have that cliffhanger. We come back and we see the world around him turning into rubber. Now, all the stuff that's going to happen with uh, Luffy's awakening is going to be the world of turning around him to rubber. He's going to be able to manipulate his rubber and the, the world around him, his rubber is going to be even more rubbery than before, making him even more rubbery. Now he's going to be able to use his devil foot ability way more, especially in his awakening form, making him be able to do gadolins. He's going to be able to manipulate gadolins and be able to manipulate his punches like Lofo Mingo. You saw how the strings were just coming out of nowhere. They were towering over Luffy. Picture Luffy, you know, you have his army hockeyed up, gadolin coming at you. That's going to be pretty interesting, and Luffy can manipulate it to make it big. He can make a, b a bunch of like huge fists around him to be able to use that. So basically, that's what Gear Fifth is going to be. It's kind of revealed. It's basically revealed because you know Oda has dealt with every gear ability to deal with Luffy's Devil Fruit um, ability. Every gear does with Luffy's Devil Fruit ability, and we're ending the stretch of Gear Four. Gear Four is basically maxed out. Maxed out. He's everything with blood, his muscles, and his bones. He's got a speed form. He has a defensive and attacking form. And then he has an all out attacking form Tank Man, Bound Man, and Snake Man. Then we have, you know, the reveal of Gear Fifth. Gear Fifth will not be. I, I see these pictures out there with Gear Fifth being like this muscular, you know, really strengthy guy. Luffy. Luffy's not that type of character to use all of that. He's, Luffy's not that type of person. You know, we're not going to see all these badass stuff. It's going to be one piece what one piece is and that's luffy using his double foot ability and i'm not saying this is going to be like a kind of goofy looking gear like a lot of people got disappointed that gear four looked like that they didn't expect it to be like that you know they didn't expect gear four to look like that so don't expect anything you know luffy might get it like a different look change he might it might he might even be just looking the same probably in gear four maybe you never know but maybe Gear Fifth is just gonna be a gear. Gear Fifth is just gonna be his devil for the awakening. That's basically it's kind of revealed already in the story. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this video and the revealing of Gear Fifth. Like guys, I I'm, I mean, there's no other reasoning. I have reasonings for Gear Fifth to be this, you know. 
this is the last stage of Luffy's devil fruit ability and awakening deals with his devil fruit so this is gonna have to be gear fifth but let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this the theory this video i don't want to say it's a theory but i kind of do want to say it's revealed but it's not 100 percent revealed but let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think leave a like on the video if you did enjoy this video and dislike the video if you disliked anything i said in this video but also, if you are new to the video, also hit that subscribe button and hit on those post notifications. You know, those are always great. But it's your boy, Depress Luffy, out. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Gang, gang, gang.